Hello everyone. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is to take a digital photo or picture, load it into a program, make the picture black and white, and then take a single color or a single object and turn it back to color. So you get some of those art looking pictures you see people having around where they're black and white with a little string of color in them. I'm going to show you how to make those. The program I'm going to be using to do this is called GIMP. GIMP works on Windows, GIMP works on Mac, it also works on Linux. The good thing about it is all the menus are the same across the operating system, so what you see me do on Mac can translate well over to Windows or Linux. The other good thing about it is the program is free. It is a competitor, it is a competitor to Photoshop, but it cannot do everything Photoshop can do. However, for the average person that's doing photography, photo manipulation, it will work well enough. I suggest anyone that has those hobbies go and download GIMP and play around with it. But today I'm going to show you a little bit of dealing with the color in the black and white. As you can see, I've loaded up a picture of a stop sign. The final product is going to be the stop sign being red and everything else being black and white. So the first thing you're going to want to notice is we have three windows. Obviously these are the tools you use for manipulating the image. This is the layer pane. It says layers. Now don't get confused, if you change tabs up here, you won't be in the layer pane anymore. The top left one is the layers. This is where we're going to be working, and I'll explain a little more what that is in a second. So the first thing we're going to want to do after we have our image opened up, go over to the layer pane, select this layer, right click on it, and you'll see where it says duplicate layer. We want to click on that. As you can see, we have this layer and that layer. Now, we want to go to the one that's on top, Make sure it's blue and highlighted. What we're going to do is now go to Colors, Desaturate, and it's going to black and white the picture. Now you have a few options. You have Lightness, Luminosity, and Average. I normally use Average because it looks the best, but you can choose whichever you want. I'm going to take Average and click OK. So now we have a black and white picture. The top layer is black and white. The bottom layer is color. If I click this eyeball, it will disable the black and white and it goes back to color. So we have a black and white layer sitting on top of a color layer. The next thing we're going to want to do is right click once again on the black and white layer. And let's see if I can get where you can see it. We want to click on add layer mask. What this does, make sure it says full or white full opac opacity. And hit add. Now you have the image here in this layer and you have this block of white. Basically, there is a block of white sitting on top of this image, so anything you color black will turn back to color. And I will demonstrate that with this. I have black selected. I'm going to take the pencil, and I'm going to take and just drag across the screen, and you're going to see it turn back to color. What this is doing is it's telling this layer to draw this into white, and whatever I draw into white will transfer so that this, the color image, shows up through it. So how we're going to use this to turn the stop sign back to red, we're going to do it really simple. The easiest thing to do is click on the colored layer. Let's disable the black and white one for a second. So we have the color here. This tool over here is select by color. So you click on that, and let's click on the stop sign. Anything that's red will get selected. Now it might not select the whole image, so you can hold shift and select again, and it's going to add more colors to it. You can keep doing this until you get all the colors that you want to work with selected. Now this is a really rough way of doing it. You can also just take, zoom in with the pencil and color it in yourself which is more of a fine tuning. We'll get to that in a second. So as you can see the stop sign is selected but it's selected on this layer. What we're going to do now is turn the eyeball back on the black and white layer so you can see it. As you notice the stop sign is still selected. Make sure in this layer you click in the white pane over here so that the white pane is selected and this layer is selected. Now we're going to take, select black as your color and your pencil tool. You can scale the brush up a little bit so it's a little bit larger. I'll take five so it's a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to just color. And what this is going to do is only going to make marks inside of the selection. So the stop sign will turn back red. Now I can go select, select none, and there we have a picture, black and white, with some color in it. 
Now once again, if you don't want to select by color and you want to fine tune it, what you can do is click the magnifying glass. You can zoom in on your image. You can take your pencil. You can scale it back down to probably one or even smaller than that if you want to. Make sure your color select is black. Now anything you want to, you can come in here like you can see right here there's a little bit of gray and there's a little bit of gray and you can zoom in even more and you can get around the edges you just put the black wherever you want it as long as it's in this layer here with the white selected and the color will transfer through now if you want to do something let's say a different color all you got to do is find the area you can color in it yourself you can do color select you can pretty much do what you want to with the color select and the pencil with black and it'll let the color transfer through once again as long as the top layer has the extra layer mask and it's white. I know I went through it kind of fast and it's going to take a little bit of playing around with to get it to where it is easy to work with but give it about 30 minutes of playing with it and you should be fairly comfortable enough to where you can make your own pictures to where they're black and white with some color pulled out of them. I hope you found this enjoyable and if you have any questions about it please let me know.